Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's conversation is how to read between the lines on a dating profile. So many people are using online dating as a means of trying to meet somebody, which is a great thing, I think. It's nice to have it at your fingertips. But the problem is a lot of people are not really paying close enough attention to the profile and they're just swiping all the photos they see and just move on to the next. But this isn't the true character of a person. Yes, their appearance is something and says a lot, but their profile says even more. And so you really want to take the time to pay, pay close attention to what somebody is saying. There are so many amazing people out there, but they're not given a chance because people are swiping by them. There is so much more to a relationship than just being physically attracted to somebody. You have to be mentally attracted to them. You have to be able to communicate and have conversations with somebody. Because I have found over the years when I've met somebody in the beginning, maybe they weren't s s super, super handsome or whatever, but they lure me in because of their personality and their, their comical side of who they are and how they look at life and how kind they are, how how wonderful they treat other people all this sort of stuff is big for me and that's what i like in a person you always want to be physically drawn to somebody that's just a natural way of life but it isn't the only thing a lot of people don't spend much time even thinking about what to write in a profile a lot of it comes across as either very cliche and repetitive or almost negative where they talk about what they don't want as opposed to what they're looking for. A profile should be very, you know, short, sweet, but really creative and to the point of who that person is at the core. If you can't figure out how to do this yourself, ask some friends to help you with it. Ask somebody, if you were to describe me in a couple of sentences, what would you say? There's lots of ways that you can go about putting an online profile out there. When you're reading between the lines on a dating profile, you're doing just that. You're paying very close attention to the first impression of what they're saying about themselves. And if it's a negative way of saying, you know, what they're not looking for, it's not somebody that you want to spend time with because you want somebody who knows what they're looking for as opposed to what they don't want in their life. That is a big difference because they're putting out an optimistic side when they know what they want and the special thing that they're looking for. If you don't want a woman who has got kids or who's got a dog, don't say, women with children and dogs, don't even bother reading this profile. Don't, I'm not interested in you. Put down what you like, what you want, what's important to you. If you're an avid cyclist, let's say, or a, a, a hiker, or you like salsa dancing, something along those lines, put out there that that's important to you, that you want to meet somebody who can do those things with you. So that's a big, big priority to you. To say, I'm, I'm looking for somebody who loves to dance as much as I do, who, or who loves to cycle and see the countryside, and all these kind of things putting out things that you want to travel well that's pretty much a given for a lot of people and it's a very very basic interest line and you don't want to just do something that everybody else does you want to stand out sometimes they'll write and they've got so many spelling mistakes and all this stuff which may seem very trivial and not worth worrying about but I think personally it gives off the attitude that they don't care this is who they are take me take it or leave it kind of thing, which isn't really a good way to be. You don't want to come across lazy or that you're, you're, you know, all that on a profile. You want to come across as a, as a nice person and that people are going to look at and go, wow, this person sounds amazing. I want to meet them. You want to stand out on your dating site in a good way, not a negative way. You want to be very positive. You want to write a one paragraph situation about who you are sum it up in a really creative fun way let people know that you know you have a beginning a middle and an end to to your paragraph and what you're looking for what's important to you not what you don't want in your life that is such a 
a pessimistic attitude to have when you're doing anything in life. I always like it when I hear somebody tell me, oh, I'm so looking forward to doing this. This is so important to me. This is what makes me feel like I have a purpose. This is what makes me tick. Those are the kind of things I look for in a person when I'm even just talking to them in a conversation. So it should be the same sort of conversation within a paragraph text that you're putting out on your profile. Your profile headline should also be creative and fun and sort of sum up who you are. What, what is the most important thing about you that you want somebody to know? They're going to be swiping by in five minutes, so you need to make a good impression. And why not? You're a great person, so put down your great attributes. It really makes common sense to do this, but so many people don't. And if you want to meet like-minded people that are fun and, and carefree and all those other things that go along with life, you've got to put it out there to attract that towards you. Get someone to take a picture of you rather than doing a selfie in the bathroom. I have seen so many of these photos online and I just don't understand how people think that this is an attractive feature because really you want to show you know, a few photos of you having fun or what you look like at, from somebody else's viewpoint. It's just a good thing to do and to wear clothes when you take a picture is another thing that's really important. A lot of people take photos of them either shirtless or some women are t taking photos in very provocative outfits. And I guess it depends what you're looking for. If you want a, a sexual type of uh, arrangement, well, that's different. But if you're looking for love and you're looking for a partner, you want to be as classy as possible. Also, be careful about giving out too much information. You don't know anybody who's looking at your profile, at your online presence. So just give out the important things of somebody that you would like to meet, but don't give out too much information about who you are. You want to meet somebody and you can eventually tell them more about yourself. But in the meantime, just put out you know, your best attribute, attributes and what's important to you in your life. Do it in a short, classy sentence structure. Check your spelling and grammar, all those things. And I think you're going to meet somebody of a little higher caliber because they understand that this is important to you. You're invested in this situation to meet somebody special. So you're giving it your all. You're putting energy and effort into meeting somebody that you can eventually have a relationship with. You know, I just find that everyone wants instant gratification and they have short attention spans now. So that's why people are, are just doing the swipe thing and they're just going like this. I mean, I watched some people do this just recently when I was out chatting with them at a, a girls event and they're just swiping by swiping. But nobody's taking the time to read anything. There's so much more to a person than just how they come across with their appearance. So something to think about in closure here. If you find that you are attracting similar types of people that aren't working out for you, or you're not attracting very many people, you know, clicking on your on your profile, change it up. Maybe there's something in there that's just not maybe standing out enough or maybe there's something that's a little negative that you don't realize is in there. Get someone else to read it and tell you what their honest opinion is about what you've got out there. Because that's all you have to do sometimes is just tweak it a little bit and then all of a sudden you'll start getting some different type of attention. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for somebody who fits you. So rather than get frustrated that you've been online for maybe two months and nothing's happening or you've only had a couple of dates, understand that it's a process. You're not going to meet somebody right away all the time. Some people are lucky and do, but the majority of people don't. So take your time and understand it can take some time to meet the right person, but that's okay. It really is because you're putting energy and time into the right people and taking the energy away from being with the wrong people. And that's more important. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe. I love it when you do. Please leave any comments below and I will see you next Wednesday. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.